something for me Something you call love But confess You've been messing Where you shouldn't have been messing And now someone else Is getting all your mess These boots are made for walking That's just what they'll do One of these days These boots are gonna walk all over you Hi, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out These Boots Are Made For Walking by Nancy Sinatra. Uh, it's Frank's daughter. Uh, it was written by a guy called Lee Hazelwood. Fantastic pop writer. Uh, if you're into this kind of vibe of music, you definitely want to check him out. Loads of great material. They did a few records together. Um, this song's pretty simple, but there's a few little quirky things in it that are worth checking out that kind of make it sound a little bit more interesting than it is difficult to play. Uh, mainly this kind of riff thing going on on the E chord. So uh, we just start off with a regular open E chord and the strumming pattern very simple down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, really straight, right? So one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and. But what we're going to do that makes it a little bit interesting on the E chord is we're going to lift off our first finger on beats two and four. So you have one, two, and three, four, and. Off, on, on, off, on, on. And when you do it up to speed, it almost sounds like you're kind of sliding into the chord. You're not, but... So that's kind of the main kind of riffy bit going on for the verses. It's doing that for eight bars on the E chord, then it moves to an A. We don't have any kind of little chord trick going on on the A chord, but you keep with the same rhythm. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. And back to E. So it's pretty straight. The verses, there's nothing too complicated going on. Worth noticing, though, that if you're playing it kind of for real, you're going to be varying the strumming pattern just a little bit. Usually just before, in the bar before, you're changing chords. So very commonly would be to play down, up, down, up on three and four and before you change chords. So you're allowed these little variations, particularly every four bars or every eight bars, you, you would end up doing some sort of minor variation on the strumming pattern. So be aware of that when you're playing, that it's okay to have these kind of small deviations from the main kind of pattern. Um, let me just play the, the verse through so you can kind of see what I mean. Actually, one other thing that uh, uh, a lot of guys struggle with, because it's a fairly easy kind of a tune, uh, when you're changing chords and you're strumming and you've got that kind of a strum, the, the up just before the chord change, which would be the and after four, very often you're just going to be strumming open strings there because your hand's changing to the new chord and that's okay. I've met up with loads of people thinking you know I can't do the chord changes fast enough because I can't get to the new chord but the trick is really just on the and after four to be lifting your hand up and getting it to the new chord. Okay so if we're going from E to A three and four and we've got nothing on and on that down strum, because the down strum where bar, the beat one is of the new chord, that's really important. You don't want to kind of miss the chord there. But if you lift it up just a bit earlier to get to the new chord, sounds fine. In fact, it sounds just like the record, because that's the way that everyone's doing it. So be aware of that as well. So now I'll play the verse. I was supposed to do it a few seconds ago. Anyway, three, four, E. Stays on E. And now we're at the chorus. Now, the chorus, you could stick with the same strumming pattern, but it sounds a little bit weird if you do that. So the chords are G to E minor. G to E minor. G to E minor with a stop for two bars. And then... 
Yeah. A really interesting little kind of key change there going as well from the E major kind of sound for the verses to the G E minor uh, for the chorus. So the strumming pattern I was just using then is the one that I call Old Faithful because it's such a common strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down. That one works fine. Just make sure when you do the stop, you strum on one, and on beat two, normally you would just move it, put your whole palm of your hand on those strings to make sure that they're all dead. Uh, well, dead, not playing. Um, but there's another kind of strumming pattern, which is, I think, kind of works nicer if you're doing it acoustically, especially if you're by yourself and you haven't got the whole band uh, kind of there helping you out with the dynamics. It would be nice to put a hit on beat two. And if you're going to do that, the strumming pattern becomes one, two, which is a muted hit. And so, something I cover in the intermediate course on the website, so you might want to check that out if you're not familiar with the technique. We're basically putting out, allowing our palm to hit the strings just before we strum. And when you get used to it, you can do this kind of, you know, it's not to do with muting of this hand, which sometimes people think. It's all to do with the, the strumming hand to get that click. So if you're going to do that, you have down, mute, up, up, down, down, mute, up, up, down, down, mute, up, up, down. One, two, and three, and four. One, two, and three, and four. Sometimes and four, and if you want. So one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. You add that little up strum at the end there if you want. So when you add that in, what it does is kind of lifts the groove a little bit more, makes it feel like it's got a little bit more energy to it, which is great for a chorus. So, uh, suddenly it kind of lifts it up a bit if I just go from the end of the verses. see it kind of lifts it really nicely so that's a really cool little thing that you might want to add in there it's not in the songbook but it's just something that'll kind of make the song a little bit more interesting great song for beginners really kind of fairly simple structure wise and you know the chords are pretty simple too so you just got those little tricks in there that'll kind of make it sound a little bit more lively than your regular beginner song but it's uh, basically pretty easy um, and that's pretty much the whole tune I mean have a listen to it to get the arrangement of course and uh, I'll see you for another lesson very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.